On average, the black dollar circulates for about six hours in a black community. We need to do better as a community to support black owned businesses, but that's sometimes easier said than done. Before we can support black owned businesses, we need a readily available economic search engine to be able to find those black businesses to support in our communities. The Central Black Business app is the answer to that question. The EBA is always on the community side, meeting the community's needs with easy access. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ongil Zalalem bringing you this bizarre report. So Nigeria announced that they have seized over 7,000 donkey private parts, the male private, private parts that were being shipped to Hong Kong. And they found this out because there was a smell that was coming from that sack and authorities were curious and they started checking and they found the 7,000 donkey private parts. So the animal parts were packed in 16 sacks and were found in the animal export section. These private parts are estimated to be worth 200 million naira, which is $478,000. The suspect linked to the package escaped before they can catch them. So the donkey parts are sought after by the Chinese because they use them to do a traditional medicine. So yeah, that's why they steal it or like um, traffic it into their country from Africa because Africa has a lot like not every African country but most African countries have a lot of donkeys and you just see uh, donkeys on the street like it's not like I get surprised when I um, hear diasporas like geeking over seeing a donkey I'm like like you'll, you just walk out and you can see um, a donkey not in the capital like in the city city of course but like if you drive 10-15 minutes outside of the city you'll see donkeys it's like most farmers have them um, um, even people in the urban area um, use them for certain things. So donkeys are not uh, something that we think are rare, like they're not rare for us. So I guess that's how, you know, they found the loophole and they're like, okay, Africans have a lot of them. Why not steal it from them and use it to make our tradition, traditional medicine? And um, it's not just the male private part of the donkey that they use for their medicine. They also use the skin and I've talked about it before. This is a report that I never thought I would report on. Like I've never heard about this before, but apparently um, China or Chinese people are stealing donkeys from Africa and you know, them to make this medicine they call Ijayo. They also use it for beautifying themselves. Let me just show you this clip. We'll come back and discuss. Oscar and Presley are two very lucky donkeys. They were being smuggled and destined for but authorities intercepted the truck they were in and saved them from a cruel so unfortunately this has been happening for a while now. It's just this specific um, packaging or sack was found and was seized. That's why we talk about it now, but I'm sure there are so many uh, shipments that nobody even noticed and they got away with it because you don't ship 7,000 parts without you ever doing it, you know, like they have experience. And um, unfortunately, our farmers are the ones that um, get affected the most because like donkeys for them are their wealth because they use them to transport their items. They use them sometimes for like, um, what do you call it? Is it irrigation? Like for, they hook them up with something and uh, um, I forgot what it was called, but they have benefits. So when, you know, those people that traffic this parts don't find as, as many as they would like they just steal them uh, from these people that need them the most and obviously that's not good for our people and I am glad that the Nigerian government took action but they said that the person that was connected to it escaped 
hopefully they have footage because like this is the airport we're talking about they need to have something of that person they they have a lead just follow that and find out who is behind this ring because i'm sure it's a big industry just this seven thousand private parts is estimated to be 400 million naira obviously a lot of people are getting money off of it anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this i am ungil zalalem i'll see you on the next one bye Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved AfricanDiasporaNews.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on AfricanDiasporaNews.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.